100 days in minecraft hardcore i've seen a bunch of youtubers do it so i decided to do it in a minecraft medieval theme mod pack by the way this is my first time playing minecraft hardcore ever so if i'm trash that's why so i started day one by getting the basic tools and i saw a village in the distance and i decided to check it out the villages looked completely different and i was scared of the guards and i didn't want to get killed in the first day so i just avoided i couldn't find anything in the village so i decided to leave but in the distance i found this tent thingy i didn't know what it was but i met some people you know we vibed and we just chilled i got some stone tools there and left the area to explore more but i encountered this weird bird person he started attacking me but he was easy to kill at this point it was getting pretty late so i just slept at those tent places and that was the end of day one Starting off day 2 I got some wood and some planks to repair the house to make it more secure and just where I wanted to stay. Then I began digging straight down just to get some iron but then I found this cave so I just explored it a bit but I didn't have a torch I couldn't go far. Luckily I didn't have to go far to get some iron and I mined it all up and left the mine because I was pretty scared at this point and I didn't want to die. I went home, made an iron pickaxe and went back down to the mine. I was enjoying myself getting some iron, some aluminium, some coal and just having a good time exploring. Heck, I even tried out these mushrooms that made me lose all my sight. Everything was going smooth and well until a rat decided to jump me and scare the shit out of me. I was actually scared for my life and this rat was slapping me until I just one shot it. I don't know why but I was genuinely scared of the rat, I even paused the game to like rethink everything but after that moment I just had enough of the caves and I didn't want to die so I just went home. I was very confused by the statue so I decided to check it out and it gave me a free shield and a sword and I was very happy for it. It was getting dark at this point so I just went to bed and that was the end of day 2. Day 3 began by me smelting all the iron and crafting like a chest plate and everything. Look at little pop smoke, he looks happy. I had my eye on this battle tower for a long time and decided to tackle it now since I felt more confident and stronger. I completed the first room very easily, there was just one skeleton protecting it, I quickly destroyed it and looted it and got pretty good loot and I continued my way up the tower and as soon as I killed the skeleton more skeletons started appearing and I was getting kind of nervous and eventually they got me down to full health which I, I got scared, I just ran away quickly. Near my house there was a shipwreck so I decided to explore it. The loot wasn't that good but I got these sick night vision goggles which I didn't know if they worked. But besides that, day 3 was pretty much complete, I just went to bed. For day 4, I decided to return to the battle tower and complete it finally. I got the skeleton skull that was feeling more confident. I killed some skeletons and I met this beefy skeleton, so I just easily killed him. I destroyed all the spawners and went up to the roof. And in the roof, I found gold blocks, which was very useful for the future. I also went down and got some bone blocks for bone meal and other stuff. I went to my little tent, organized all the stuff and went back to the caves in hopes of getting more iron and getting a full iron suit. I spent the entirety of day 5 just mining and getting some random stuff and when I went back up it was day 6. For day 6 all I practically did was build myself some iron armor and uh, get myself fully geared for an adventure and then for day 7 I went out adventuring and trying to find new stuff, new places to explore. I found nothing. But at night of day 7, I found this abandoned ship which I went to explore. It wasn't the best loot, but it was something. I also got rid of the night vision goggles because, I, in my opinion, they felt too OP. But I also saw this underwater creature thing which I did not want to mess up. Day 9, I took my adventures to the ocean. The reason for this is because I was in an island and I found nothing besides the battle tower which I already finished. So I just got on my ship and started sailing on the sunrise. Adventuring by sea was a very bad idea because as soon as I turned around I was greeted by piranhas and I didn't think they could do anything to me as I was on a boat but then they started actually dealing damage just I got scared so I just decided to turn back and go home and then do this later when I'm ready. I was about to get off the beach and go home but my game crashed and I was worried because I had a ton of piranhas behind me but luckily I got back in the game and I was perfectly fine and I didn't. Besides my failed attempt at adventure, I went back to base and decided to make a portal because I wanted to go to another, you know, finish the game in these 100 days and this was so frustrating because it literally took me like 10 minutes to make another portal. First I went inside the lava, then I just made everything into obsidian and just because I watched Dream once I thought I was like this insane Minecraft player. Eventually I built a portal and waited till day 10 to go inside the nether. Day 10 I went to the nether. 
The nether started off really bad as I was just mining and mining my business and my pickaxe actually broke and because of that I had to I had to use my blocks efficiently and my water bucket just my water just evaporated I don't know why but other than that I just killed some stuff in the nether and I actually got in jump scare by these bushes multiple times like I was very frustrated like every time they just scared the shit out of me I also met this piglin and just killed him too and this three headed dog which I was very scared he was, I was shitting my pants at this I just started running and obviously the plant jump scared me too so eventually I just came down killed him got that dog's head which was actually a funny part after spending the entirety of the 11 in the nether I couldn't find anything important or anything entertaining so on my way back I actually found a fortress which was very lucky and my plan was to get some blaze rods now so I wouldn't have to worry about it later and as I entered there I encountered some wither skeletons and I tried to get some blaze rods but these guys just destroyed me and I was running out of food and I had no blocks my pickaxe was broken so I just decided to run away at the end I I managed to get 3 blaze rods which wasn't bad but on returning the way home I found this wild dog which I didn't think they were aggressive but I approached it and it started attacking me and it was dealing a lot of damage and I was panicked you can see it I was shitting myself I just left it alone and just ran away it took me the entirety of day 12 to find the way back home I was searching for legit like 20 minutes I was frustrated but eventually I found it and went back home Day 13 nothing major happened, I just went back to the old village, got some wheat because I was running out of food and I explored the island again hopefully finding new stuff, I just found this dragon and I realized that there was nothing in this island so I packed up all my stuff and decided to go on an adventure and find a new place to live in because this was very boring. So I got all my stuff and then I slept and waited for day 14. To go. For day 14 I wasted no time, I got all my stuff, I went on a boat and then started adventuring. I was obviously chased by piranhas but they didn't do anything to me so that was lucky. But eventually I found land which I got off on. When I was on land I saw these people again singing just jamming so I didn't touch them, I left. And I was, I actually found a temple which I looted, it didn't have the best loot but it's still something good. I continued exploring and stumbled across a swamp biome. I was actually curious but this was killing my computer. My computer went like 20 FPS at some point so I, my main priority was just leaving it so as a revenge I just burned, started burning out this place and eventually I found found this little abandoned house. It had nothing in it but I remembered I had saddle from a previous uh, battle tower so I tried to tame a horse but these guys started attacking me and I continued to tame a horse. I was finally ready to tame a horse and as I was doing it I heard weird noises I was like what the hell is going on I turned around and there was a dragon this guy just destroyed me four hearts just like that I was shitting myself I was sprinting with all my life I did not want to die in 14 days eventually I lost him and I tamed the horse quickly this point it was getting dark so I tried to go and find some place but this guy appeared again and I was I, I just ran away in the other direction I tried to lose him and I remember seeing something off in the distance and as I went there, it was a village, so I just went to sleep there. Nothing major happened at day 15, except I killed this dragon and I explored this battle tower, which was, it, it was empty. And as night was approaching, I wanted to sleep somewhere or even dug myself under the ground, but I found this house, which was abandoned or something. This house didn't have anything of value, except some food maybe, and this weird armor enchanted. Uh, I put it on, obviously, and then I just went to bed. Day 16 and 17, the video got corrupted. I managed to get some footage in, like me adventuring, but it's just boring. But day 17, I basically found a place where I wanted to build my house and build a temporary base. By day 18, I finally found a place where I wanted to build my house. I started getting a bunch of wood to build a big house. I think I got like 5-6 stacks of uh, wood which took me the entirety of day 15 and then day 19, 20 and 21 I was building my house. I didn't want to show it as it was boring so enjoy this little montage.
the house looking kind of fire I'm not even joking I still didn't finish it but it took me a long time this is some random girl I just captured you know she my mama Sita now this house is kind of ugly though I didn't know what to base it off but the one cool part I like is this part secret room this is where I keep all my stuff and other chests for day 30 I decided to stop building and I did practically nothing except show around the house which I'm not gonna show because I feel like it's boring but starting day 31 for day 31 to 32 I went down I tried to get some diamonds but I legit mined and mined and I couldn't find anything and I had enough so I just went back home after day 32 nothing exciting happened I just went mining adventuring it wasn't that interesting content so I'm not gonna show you but this is what I have in day 100 between day 30 and day 70 this is what I have this was very easy it took me like 10 days to build and I also have a dragon and these uh, this armor is actually pretty cool you see I killed the dragon right here it actually destroyed my house but this is my area my castle and if I go downstairs this this is the dragon this is what I wanted to do this challenge for he was very easy to tame I just had to ride on him a couple of times and look at him oh my god this, this is just the best thing in the world I actually took him down and fought the end dragon with like dragon versus dragon this is my village where I just built a bunch of houses I want to be I wanted to feel like the king there's like villagers down here and other stuff that's pretty much it I defeated every I defeated the ender dragon the wither and uh, all the bosses from the mods in here I built this amazing house I feel like I accomplished everything I said to accomplish this obviously took me a long time and I would love it if you guys subscribe, leave a like and tell me what 100 days I should do. And anyways, peace.